This film, shot a month before the event's opening, showcases some of the massive construction work that went behind the 1902 International Exhibition, including the over 170,000 square foot industrial hall. We see here a panoramic shot showcasing the Sunday's Well area north of the Lee, as well as the then unfinished water chute, which would open a week late and go on to be arguably the most iconic feature of the event. The panoramic shot was taken from the Sunday's Well Boating and Tennis Club, which at the time would have only been four years old. The water chute was demolished some time after the event, but in its place is a feature that has now gone on to become arguably more iconic. Daly's Bridge, or the Shaky Bridge as you may know it today. We see here the intense bustling popularity of the water shoot at the event, with lengthy queues surrounding it, then unseen at the time. And now we see Daly's Bridge as it stands today, the only suspension bridge within the city. It has been used by thousands of people since its opening in 1927 and has recently undergone renovations which saw close to the public. Here we can see the expanse of the 44 acre site of the exhibition is seen from the top of the water chute. Its structure is going as far as the eye can see. In this particular shot we are treated to views of the various themed halls showcasing Edwardian industrial, educational and societal progress in Ireland, such as the domed industrial hall and the squared towers of the concert hall. Towards the end of the panorama, we can see the tea house and restaurant. While many of the structures at the event were made of plaster or sheet, the tea house was instead made of imported American high quality wood. Following the end of the 1903 exhibition, many of the structures were demolished and auctioned off, including the tea house itself, which was taken apart and rebuilt as a house in Kurabini, which stands to this day as viewed from Apple Maps on your screen here. It retains many of the motifs of the original structure in its current form. In 1902, rowing was an emerging sport in Ireland. As a result, there were three separate rowing sequences filmed by Norden Films at the exhibition. This particular sequence was filmed at Sunday as well, Boating and Tennis Club, which at the time was only three years old, having been established in 1899. Today, Sunday's Well Bowling and Tennis Club are approaching their 123rd birthday. Though it now operates as a te tennis club exclusively, its rear dock area from which the original shots were filmed remains intact. As part of the exhibition, as well as to promote rowing in the city, an international rowing regatta was held in July 1902, with Irish, British and German teams all being represented in the event. On screen now is footage of the final race in which Leander Club of Henley-upon-Thames beat the representatives from Berlin Rowing Club.
The footage seen here was taken from the Lower Glanmire Road and showcases the drastic change seen in the southern area of the city since, with rows of trees being long since replaced by power plants and factories that have since closed. Many of these shots are frantic, blurry and obscured, showing the relative inexperience of Norton Films in filming such an event. Sadly, due to the obscured, blurry shots in combination with the aforementioned drastic change in landscape, I was not able to find the exact location from which the footage was filmed. However, one thing that has not changed since Mitchell and Kenyon came here in 1902 is this area of the city's love for rowing, with Shandon and Lee Bow Clubs pictured here going from strength to strength all of these years later. Another example of the importance of sport to the exhibition can be seen here, with a massive sports day being held at the Queen's College Sporting Grounds at the Maradike as part of the exhibition festivities. The shots here of sport are interspersed with those of large crowds, as Norton Films focus, as was normal for factory gate films at the time, was not to showcase sport, but rather society as it was. Sport, and indeed college sport, is still prevalent in the area today. We see here the Meridike Sporting Facilities as viewed from its adjacent walkway coming off of Fitzgerald's Park. It serves still as the primary sporting grounds for Queen's College, or UCC as it is now known. <laughs> 